Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Ryan. Welcome to Pre-K Story Time. Today we have a very special story to read. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. I love this story. This is a story about fitting in or not. Have you ever heard the expression, if all your friends jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Well, this story examines that a little bit, and it also examines something you might have to be doing, which is picking your own outfit. There are so many outfits to choose from. Maybe your parents like to dress you up or pick out the clothes you should wear. But when you can choose your own outfit, there are so many different looks you can explore. Let's go ahead and read about our story, Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Remember, even though everybody else is doing something, it doesn't always mean that you need to do it too. Sometimes it's good to be different. Let's jump on in, shall we? There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats, right? But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. And three, they are all naked. Well, they were with one exception. Wilbur. Wilbur, the naked mole rat, who likes to get dressed. Hello, he says. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? But Wilbur, he says, I like clothes. When I get dressed, I can be <gasps> fancy. Or cool, or funny, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. Hmm. But Wilbur thought this was a good idea. What is this? Looks like he opened a store. And this says clothes. The other naked mole rats did not, did not think this was a good idea. So they brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. <laughs> Grandpa did not look heroic. Grandpa did not Oh, sorry. Grandpa did look heroic, thinks Wilbur. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. That's a nice look. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes! Hmm. Well, why not? Asked Wilbur. Hmm. Something had to be done. Those other naked mole rats look like they're fuming. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And this one, he says, and then he asked, why not? Hmm, says Grandpa. 
Now, Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Oh, and then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony! I shall make a proclamation! Hmm. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. Everyone says, a proclamation, a proclamation, a proclamation, I gotta get going! But he had no idea what to wear. Look at all these outfits to choose from. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. What is he wearing? Looks like just some socks. Playing it very safe, huh? But maybe not safe enough. Look, Wilbur's wearing socks. What about all the other naked mole rats? I don't think they're wearing anything. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat <coughs> and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No! Are they fun? Well, they may not be fun for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. What a great outfit. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his leg could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. He's getting changed, and he's running right back to Grandpa. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. What's this? There's a lot of them wearing outfits. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. And three, all of the mole rats had a great time. And what's this? It looks like Wilbur was able to open his clothes store after all. The end. Thank you all for reading a lot with me. I had a lot of fun reading this story, Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. If you enjoyed reading Mo Willems stories, I encourage you to go on over to MoWillems.com and check out his daily doodling sessions. He's got lots of great stuff going on. So this has been a fantastic story about being unique and being different. Sometimes it's good to be different, right? So make sure to always be different and always be unique. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye.